Can you film a tight room with not one but two lights without even leaving the room? First let's talk about why. I wanted to create the scene where it's a bit melancholic and cold so I had some blue tones but I also wanted to portray the sun coming up in the morning so I needed a bit of a morning glow which of course was fake because it was night. Grab the widest lens you have and I use the 17 to 50 which translate in the 70 mm to 25 on my GH5 with a speed booster which isn't really wide, I probably need wider lenses but you need to get creative here and put the camera as away as you can from the scene to capture what you want to capture so take your time and don't worry, it takes some time. I used the corner of the room and I couldn't find any other angle to display my face including my hands and the sink and the mirror so that's what I had, but your constraints may differ. Just take your time. Make sure to close any light sources by closing the blinds or putting a thingy like this or even a blanket. Even a poor gaff tape job will work as long as it holds up for the shot. Also make sure you remove any clutter that isn't related to the scene at all because it can grab the viewer's attention away from your scene and distract them. Let's start with the main light and you need to decide where you want your character to be and how the light of the bathroom should be. Usually in bathrooms the light is overhead and it lights your subject evenly. So this is what I went for and I had the light bulb there which I couldn't fit my lights into so I just removed the light bulb. And for lights I used the GVM 800Ds. I have a second one lighting here, the background behind me in blue. What I love about these lights is that they are slim, like really slim. 80 watt lights and they have these barn doors that help you control the light and they also have this small diffuser and they get pretty bright so they're no slouch and as you can see the light there looks pretty clean to me make sure you also hide all the wires which again could be tricky so you can use walls or route them somehow somewhere with extension cables be creative i used the shower here to hide the cable of the light which was right out of frame it was great by now your scene should be ready and your subject should be lit very well. And now we'll add the second light. This light adds more depth and glow to the scene. Especially since I want the sun to sort of shine through the window that we closed and cast its golden rays. So what we do is shape the light very carefully with the barn doors and if you don't have barn doors you can use cardboard and gaff tape. Take your time, it would take time and creativity but be patient, you've got it. As you can see here the light doesn't flood the main light, it's just an accent light and it sort of mimics the glow of the sun so it's very gentle and make sure your light is gentle as well so it doesn't overpower your main light, it should only accent it. If you're interested in the GVM 800D, you can check this video right here where I compare them to the PCX 600 by Aperture, which is a more expensive light, and I add a south box to them, which again keeps them pretty cheap and still slim for your next tight shot. I've been Tim, and I'll see you next week on the Elusive Frame. Thank you for watching.